It's Saturday morning in Ocean Beach. At the Episcopalian Church on Sunset Cliffs Boulevard, people mill about and wait for the doors to open. All these people have one thing in common. They're homeless. They've come here today to get a free meal and medical care. The director of the church, Nancy Holland, works the room. Good morning, how are you? How's it going? You come, you come every Saturday? Yeah. yeah. You got to put your shirt on when you go back to New York. It's cold back there. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to lose my tan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Holland has a smile and kind words for everyone. She says these people may be homeless and destitute, but they're still human beings. Not our job to judge. Our job is to love and, and to care for one another. So we leave the judging up to somebody else. That's the attitude in the free medical clinic, too, where all of the care is provided by nursing students from Cal State San Marcos, like Laura Lemby. And where is the pain coming from? Lemby is in her final semester of nursing school. In addition to assessing and treating patients, She's also one of the clinic managers. Lemby says she couldn't care less if her patients are homeless. We'll have the doctor come take a look at you. I mean, who knows how I would be if I was faced with these hardships and maybe mental illness or any other number of things that affect people and make it hard for them to make their way through life. Like everyone needs help, like when they're sick. You should just help people because you're a nurse. That's what you do. And that's what nursing's all about. All of the clinic's patients have been through hard times. Take 61-year-old Anthony Jones, for example. You don't even want to hear what he's been through. He used to be a captain on Alaskan fishing boats, and now... Because I do not have an address, I'm living in a vehicle on the street. Okay, I have to register as a transient here. No, every 30 days, I have to go in and, regis and register. If I do not go down and register, I will be arrested. I'm looking at 32 months in prison for not going down and registering. Jones says his only way of making money is to sell his plasma. Coming here is like a breath of fresh air. They have, uh, they have a bathroom here, and they have, uh, they have food, and they have a nice meal here, and they have clothes. I can buy stuff to shave with. Uh, you know, they have the, I mean, it's a very caring, loving place. On an average day, the nursing students treat up to 60 patients. So if you guys could, oh, and then, yeah. Cal State San Marcos's Mary Baker is their chief instructor. But she doesn't do much teaching here. Other than conducting a debrief at the end of the day, Baker lets the students run the show. She'll occasionally get on their case, but in a nice way. I try not to be too critical with the students. It's always about being a positive role model. And some days are better than others. Baker says working in the clinic helps students hone their clinical skills. They also learn something else that's just as important. One of my goals is that the students see people who are unsheltered as people, that they're all people, that they get to see the whole backstory of how they ended up where they are. This, make sure that gets bleached out. This we can save for clothes. That gets locked up because it's a sharps. At the end of the day, Baker and her students clean up and put everything away. Laura Lemby says when she first heard about this clinic, she was a little apprehensive about working with the homeless, but she woke up. It's just the way it is, and you just got to deal with it, and it's hard for people, and I'm just glad that I can be there to help people out. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.